Sweet Brenty. The story of us is my favorite story. We were inseparable after our first few conversations together. You instantly became my best friend, someone I love talking to and being around. I feel grateful that from the very beginning, you were willing to take huge leaps of faith with me. You have proven to me time and time again that you are a man that is devoted to me, our relationship, our love, and the family that we will build. I can't help but cry when I sit and think about how truly wonderful you are as an individual and as the love of my life. I love your heart, your energy, your silly jokes. I love when you freestyle rap. I love dancing with you, singing with you, traveling with you, talking to you, and doing absolutely nothing. Ann Matthews, since the first time we met, you have always made me feel seen, loved, and cherished. Since the very first time I came to Texas, I knew I wanted to change your last name. And to be honest, I was ready to change your last name before we said goodbye for the first time. We overcame what most people said would never work in a time that no one was even able to leave the house. Our story is something I cherish and speak, and it speaks to how strong our love was from the beginning. Every 12-hour drive to Kansas State, it never felt long. It was always the drive back home that felt like it took forever because coming to you is where I belong the whole time. Today you have pledged yourself to a lifetime of caring for one another. May this be a commitment made in love, kept in faith, lived in hope, and eternally renewed. As you stand before us, it is our hope that you will go through life loving, trusting, and caring for one another, completely and forever. So having pledged your fidelity to one another, to love, honor, and cherish one another in the presence of this gathering and by the authority that's vested in me, it is my honor to now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride.
When I close my eyes 